Clarence Gonstead was a doctor of chiropractic whose work has been widely acclaimed. As the originator of the Gonstead method of care, his methods are utilized by thousands of doctors of chiropractic worldwide and have brought relief to countless chiropractic patients. While Dr. Gonstead passed away in 1978, the clinic he built still stands. The Association for the History of Chiropractic, in conjunction with the Gonstead Clinical Study Society, is pleased to present the Gonstead Clinic. I'm Roger Coleman, the assistant editor for the journal Chiropractic History. Pictures and text for this short presentation are taken from the book Gonstead the Adjuster by Matthew Amon and are used courtesy of the Gonstead Clinical Study Society. The Gonstead Clinic was completed in 1964 just outside Mount Orb, Wisconsin. In 1965, Dr. Gonstead added the 34-room Caracol Inn, which was later expanded by an additional 22 rooms in 1969. The inn helped provide lodging for the patients who came from all over the world to seek care in the Gonstead Clinic. The clinic was so well known that the iconic newsman, Walter Cronkite, discussed it on television. That Dr. Gonstead would achieve such international fame could not have been guessed from his beginnings. His parents, Carl and Sarah Gonstead, were farmers of Norwegian descent. Clarence was the second oldest of six children and was born in Wilson Lake, South Dakota. The family later moved to Wisconsin where they purchased a dairy farm. Clarence Gonstead's father, Carl, is shown in this picture with Carl's brothers. Carl is in the front row, far right. After graduating from the Palmer School of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa on July 12, 1923, Dr. Gonstead returned to Wisconsin to begin his practice. Dr. Gonstead's practice in Mount Orb, Wisconsin grew over the years, and by the early 1960s he needed much larger offices. He planned a new clinic and purchased a nine-acre plot of land outside of Mount Orb for the endeavor. The clinic contained a large reception area and three wings in a Y shape and was 29,000 square feet on two levels. The focal point of the reception area was a glacial rock formation pool with flowing water which was in keeping with the Scandinavian style of the clinic. The Gonstead Clinic was known to see over 250 patients a day and the reception area was almost continually full to capacity. When Dr. Gonstead celebrated his 50th year in practice in 1973, the press took note and the story showed pictures of his two earlier clinics that he'd used in practice. The Gonstead Clinic complex grew to the largest private practice clinic in the world to accommodate the ever-growing number of patients. The clinic and hotel are seen in this aerial view. But Dr. Gonstead was not alone in his rise to prominence in the chiropractic world. His wife Elvira had been there during the journey and in the early days of his practice was known to drive him to the homes of patients who could not come to the clinic. Clarence Gonstead has passed and the chiropractic profession and healthcare lost a giant. But the clinic stands and now a much needed renovation program has been undertaken to restore the clinic to its original state. We would like to thank the Gonstead Clinical Study Society for allowing us to use the book Gonstead the Adjuster. The book Gonstead the Adjuster by Matthew Heyman is available for purchase from the Gonstead Clinical Study Society in Santa Cruz, California. They can be contacted by going to their website at gonstead.com. Those interested in learning more about the history of the chiropractic profession or interested in becoming a member of the Association for the History of Chiropractic and receiving their scholarly journal may contact the association through their website chiropractichistory.com or emailing the executive director at ahc1895 at gmail.com.